Hi guys, this is Ratchet Straw, and we are playing Criminal Case Elite Mode Case 21 and goes away. Let's all watch after to it. <laughs> Jack came to us drunk. Yes, yes, yes. I only had a couple of drinks. Okay, maybe half of the dolls said. But it was to celebrate our escape from that horrible altar present. But I was talking to a guy at the tavern. And I learned some stuff about you, Victus, as where, where uh, the place he was before he got killed. Apparently, the, gro uh, the governor had a party at his plantation house last night. The victim and his crewmates were there. Interesting. If the victim was at the party, it's possible the kill was too. Katria, we gotta check out the governor's house. Let's go. Okay. Your Excellency, we're risking the murder of... Privateers, I cannot speak with you now. There is a problem of the utmost importance of food. My collection of rare exotic butterflies has escaped. Really? Years of hunting and collecting, gone in a flicker of colorful wings. I could do nothing else, I couldn't speak with you, until they are safely returned to their confinement. Well, I suppose we can help you with that. Come on, Katrina. Let's take a look around for those butterflies. And if you see something of interest to our case, don't hesitate to pick it up. Of course. Collect the butterflies then. And find something of the interest of the murder. Here, butterflies. Katria, that fruit tray is covered with beautiful butterflies. They must be attracted to the leftover sweets from last night's party. Those have to be the escaped exotic butterflies of the governor's collection. We'll have to collect it very carefully before they finish the crumbs and fly away. Oh, and this is a dance card. Women used to carry these at parties as a cute list of men to dance with during the party. Imagine living in an era where this is a thing. <laughs> Between Kai and Tio, my dance card's already full. The names inside are faded. Let's look out and see who else was at this party with the victim. And this letter book is interesting, Katarina. The cover says HMS, but the rest of it is worn away. Let's take a closer look. Okay. Alright. Ah, it is for high more. Just was just we were expecting that. Katria, the letter book you found says HMS Highmore on the cover. This was with a logbook from the victim's ship. But it belongs to the captain then. There's too much material here to go through ourselves, so we should send it to Marina to see if there's anything relevant to our investigation. Okay. Alright, now the faded names.
Katria, this dance card belongs to an Isadora Haddonfield. She was with the governor's daughter. It looks like Isadora danced quite a few times with part of us during the party. We should ask Isadora if she noticed anything amiss during all that time spent with the victim. Okay. Alright, now <laughs> let's collect the butterflies. So butterflies are different colors, very beautiful. Oh, that was a guess, that last one. Fantastic, Katrina. You captured the governor's butterflies. Let's get him back to him and hopefully he'll be prepared to speak with us about the murder. Okay. Alright, let's go to Isadora first. Miss Haddonfield, we'd like to ask you some questions. Ooh, I was unaware they allowed women to serve as privateers. You look quite smart in that uniform. Thank you, Miss Haddonfield. That is sweet of you to say. Uh, we see that you danced with Barnabas Dicker last night. Ah yes, we had just made each other's acquaintance. He regaled me with tales on the high seas, visits to distant lands, encounters with pirates, matters of life and death. I lent him a string from my body and he taught me to tie some of the most important knots for a sailor to know. What do you ask? Well, I'm sorry to say we found him murdered at the port earlier today. Oh dear, how heartbreaking to think such an exciting life was brought to such an early end. May he rest in peace. Alright. Alright, let's go to the governor now. Oh, thank you, private tears, for recapturing my butterflies. How can I repay you? Please, tell us what you know about Officer Barnabas Dicker of the HMS Highmore. We understand he was here at your party last night. Ah, oh, yes, that nincompoop. He drank most of the champagne we had shipped in from France for the occasion and made quite a fool of himself by the end of the night. We found Officer Dick earlier today with his throat slashed open. Oh, goodness. I must say I'm grateful that I, that did not occur here in my home. What an awful mess that must have been. I suppose the HMS Hyman will be searching for a replacement gunner. I do hope for their sake they find one who is less of a Zeus. I'm afraid that is all I know. <clears throat> that is all I know about this matter. I thank you again for returning my butterflies. Please excuse me. I must return them to their terraria. Okay. What is there to know in ship logbook? Marina, did you find anything useful in the HMS Highmore's logbook? Yes, Captain Shadrach's day-to-day -day record lists a number of incidents where he believed the victim was trying to kill him. Oh. Let's see. Ugh. How I put this microphone, it always sends up the wire being... in the way. <laughs> Listen, the man fired at seagulls for sport. If only one such bird, Bonnevis swung his battle to be and held it there. A look at his eye I cannot put into words. So is that true? Did I really have it in for the captain? I'm not convinced of that. Now the situation is include a clear threat. The pattern I see in the captain's thinking is a subtle case of delusional disorder. In the last entry he says, I have no proof of what I have seen, but Digger has painted a tar has painted a target upon my face, which no amount of soap can remove. Alright, that's it. If you hear something then <sighs> There we go. Wow, do you think the captain's illusions could have driven him to murder? It's a distinct possibility. We've seen people care for less. Well, looks like we'd better take a close look at Captain Shadrach. Yeah. Alright, Captain. Something is alright with you. 
Captain, we found your logbook. Why didn't you mention your suspicions about Officer Dicker before? You would have believed it to be his murderer. Well, the fact that you kept it a secret makes it even more suspicious. What would I gain for killing him after arriving at port? Best to tie a barrel to his ankle with a bowline knot and push him into the open sea. I did think about it, I admit. That reason wanted to replace me as a captain of the High War, I know it. His eyes fire daggers every time they met mine. I took to eating my soft pork in my private quarters, for fear he would poison it. But I assure you, Private Tears, I did not murder a member of my crew. I want as badly as you, as you do to put the question of Officer Dixon's murder to rest. Catherine, we hope your fears about Dicko did not push you to extremes. And speaking of the ship, Katarina, I believe this warrants another look around. Alright. Let's look around the ship again. Seem to find bone. Oh god damn it. Keep going. Enforcing fight them. Oh there! Right in the corner. I hate when they are there. Katrina, what do you suppose this wooden box is for? You're right, it says Felix Humphrey on it, so it belongs to the ship's surgeon. I agree, let's get it open and see if there's anything helpful inside. Hey, the weather happened here on the ship, as you suspect, Katarina. This crate is a perfect place to hide evidence. Let's dig in. Alright, let's unlock this. his equipment. Look, Katarina, here are all the surgeons' medical tools. But what is that torn paper about? We should restore it. Okay. Alright, now let's switch to the box. Flasks, compasses, ropes, and the messenger again. What is this? In the last in the last couple of videos, it happens to be that my phone vibrates or something. Katarina, there's a fish that did this crate, and it's got blood on it. Oh, good eye. There's a button that was missing from Dickerson's jacket, so he must have used the uh, the net to yeah to drag him. We did find evidence the murder was committed on the ship deck. This must be what the crew used to move the body to the port. There's only one way to find out. Let's send this night to the lab. Okay. Let's restore the toilet paper now. Okay. 
Okay, this is what I remember. This clue. Kateria. The people who found in the surgeon's box is a deaf technology form. Sounds like some kind of IOU. It says, I, Felix Humphrey, admit in the face of defeat that I owe a debt of 50 pounds sterling to my victor in whist. One Bonnebus sticker. Whoa, Katarina. I just did a conversion and apparently 50 pounds sterling in 1790 was equivalent to $15,000 in 2029. That's a lot of money. Oof. You're right. Felix didn't sign it. They was torn to pieces. Since he disagreed about his death to the victim. Let's see what Felix has to say about this. What do you gotta say about this? Dr. Humphrey, you gotta say the old officer did get quite a bit of money. Yes, I lost wonderful gains of whist against Barnabas, but he kept making crazier and crazier bets. Well, I planned to call him out on his little game and claimed I'd match his bets. But I lost every hand and wound up 50 pounds in the negative. My entire savings, gone. Everyone on the ship knows I've been saving my money for a long time, preparing to start a surgical practice on dry land and escape this infernal hunk of driftwood. Without that money, all I have left are my tools, the clothes on my back, and my remaining salt pork rations. And there was no way to find an accord between you? But of us refused, after I had been like a mentor to him. I was the one who taught him to tie dots. Doctor, if we discover your motive, bottom us to avoid paying your debt, you'll get your wish of staying on dry land. In prison. What can we get from this fishnet? Theo, is Katrina's hunch correct? Did the cure use a fishnet to drag Digger from the crime scene to the port? Yes, on top of his button, which you already spotted, the bottom neck was also the victim's. So, there was a lot of the victim tangled up in that clue, but did the killer leave anything behind? Well, in two places, where the killer must have held the net, I found traces of cochlearia. Cochlearia was also known as scurvy grass, and was commonly used to treat cases of scurvy on the high seas. Scurvy is a disease caused by a deficiency of vitamin C, which cochlearia can cure. So finally it here, Katria tells you that your killer has scurvy. Well, when we catch the killer, they'll get plenty of vitamin C. But the C stands for cell. Heh, <laughs> good one. There have been some interesting developments in the mystery of this murdered mar mar mariner, Katarina. We got some polarizing opinions of him. The governor said he was a champagne guzzling Zeus. But the governor's daughter seemed charmed by him. And here on his ship, the victim was firm about taking Felix's life savings after their whist game. While well, Captain Ellis was sure the victim was actively trying to kill him. We'll need some more time to gather clues before we... Anchors away! Whoa! Private years, unless you long to see the West Indies, I suggest you disembark immediately. Whoa! You're not getting any... going anywhere. Katrina, this ship is leaving the port. Whoa, you're not going anywhere. This ship is a crime scene. He was killed right here. Dear. Alright, we gotta stop here. We're gonna continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!